to another episode of Naomi the Chi. On today's episode, I decided to switch it up a little bit. Don't worry, pick a cards will be here very soon. But this particular reading, I just wanted to get into the energy of love, okay? This is for you guys out there that are single and ready to mingle. Situationships too, relationships, divine unions, twin flames. This is your reading for anybody that's looking for love. So in this particular um, card reading, I'm going to go ahead and channel the energies through all 12 signs. And if you want to go ahead and skip to your sign, you can because there's timestamps listed down below. Okay? So before we get into the pick a card, sorry, to your tarot card reading, Revolving Love, we are going to introduce the deck that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and use the Love Oracle deck. And the Romance Angels. Of course, I'm always keep my tried and true. I've had this for so long. It's probably been beat up a thousand times. But I have to, um, I like to use different cards to pull out different information. But I'm going to always keep my right away because this one is going to help me channel this energy even better. Okay, this has my energy all over it. Trust me. So, before we get into the actual card reading, if you guys are still here, did not skip to the timestamp. Did you hit subscribe? Okay, because you already know I'm I'm watching. Also, make sure that you like the video and comment below what pile resonate with you or how this energy translated into your life. So, without further ado, we're going to get into Aries first. Aries, what information do we have for you involving love? see some things I can go ahead and um, let you know I feel like love is working its way in quick fast and in a hurry or you could be very impatient when it comes down to um, getting into a romantic love interest I feel like the person that's coming towards you is um, intellectual like yourself I feel like you are a very intellectual person even very romantic and the, your love interest or the person that's coming towards you is the same exact way. Y'all marry each other exactly. Y'all are most definitely twin flames. Um, if not, y'all are twins in a lot of aspects. Like y'all are almost the same as the way you think. Um, heavy energy on the way you think. Um, this person um, had to go through a lot of transformations to, in order for them to get to the point where they're at. And they have ascended into their better self as a result and i feel like you guys have also been working on yourself a lot as well and that's how you was able to attract the same person i feel like um you guys need to stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance so i feel like you guys kind of thought this person out like not sought them out like you were seeking for this person but you thought them out like you thought out every aspect of this person that you wanted and you was able to manifest exactly that and then some um spirit is also urging me to tell you that you guys need to learn how to forgive and move on past a situation that probably was very hurtful um as it pertains to either male or female so this is a very good read that if you are aries and you pick this um and you're watching this then you already know you probably been with somebody who was very cold towards you, very cold emotionally, or even like, um, you know, verbally, like they wasn't very warm in the, in the aspect of the way they talk to you. Now that goes for male or female. They probably use very harsh words when um, talking to you and things like that. It wasn't nurturing in no aspect. It wasn't romantic in no aspect. So I see that you need to move past that, forgive, and use it as a learning a skill or tool um, so that you can um, experience more love in the present moment um, and I don't know who that is for that could be very specific for whoever had to go through that but like I said this um, Aries if you are watching this is um, what I got out of this message is that you need to heal past something that happened in a past relationship stay optimistic and if love isn't here it's happening very very soon it's rushing its way in 
Okay, let's go ahead and move on to who's next? Taurus. Y'all don't have no problem with getting love. I can tell you that right now. Taurus, are you serious? Y'all very traditional in the way that you move anyway. Y'all is traditional in the way you move. And um, you know, y'all are looking for somebody who can match that traditionalism. That, you know, you want just the basic needs in life. You know, you want to be fair and you want to be loved on in that order, okay? And um, loved on properly. Maybe showered with a lot of gifts. Y'all love language could definitely be um, either acts of service or gifts. Taurus people, what information about love do you have for me? All right, let's see. Taurus, 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 Taurus energy, love. What love energy do you have for me to give to Taurus? I already knew y'all are destined to be with somebody anyway. Y'all are very destined to be with somebody. Okay, I feel like in this love reading, this is somebody that um, who is going to most definitely sweep you off your feet. They, you might meet this person in traveling in some kind of aspect or way if you haven't, if you are already in a relationship with this person. I feel like um, for singles, you can be whisked away and somebody might pull up in a fancy car or something dealing with a car might help you with your car and you that's what kind of introduced the whole situation. It could be something about a car or maybe some, some kind of symbol or symbolism dealing with a car um, that has attracted you to that person. You might be on the defense and might not even realize or know exactly what it is. Um, you might be on the defense when it comes to dealing with this person because you might not be very trusting. You probably are just kind of like maybe one of those people who like go through things online and kind of like, you know, properly vet them and see exactly are they exactly who they say they are, they what they say they are, who this is who they say they are. Um... And if you are already in a relationship, Spirit wants you to know that you need to work on this partnership. This is something that's going to grow. Um, this is something that can grow into um, a marriage. I feel like this is also something to tell you um, that you also need to do some kind of self-care and some kind of self-love. Like you cannot depend on other people to love you um, and just accept everything that comes with you. Um, especially when you don't accept yourself for who you truly are. So this this pile also, um, what is this, Taurus? I keep saying pick a card. For my Taurus who are watching this, um, it's time for you to go ahead and unveil the mask and reveal exactly who you truly are. Okay, so that people can really love you for you. But the only way you're going to be able to do that is you're going to have to love you for you yourself. Like it's time for you to go ahead. If you talk a certain type of way that you know that's not you, um, and you only do that when you're around other people who you are trying to impress, spirit set in that, okay? Also, I hear, um, you know, just anything that you're trying to do to like create a facade of somebody who, well, if I was more like this, they'll like me. That's, 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 that is not the case. You are lovable. You are likable the way you are. I see that very, very clear here. I think it's time for you to go ahead and glow up and grow up, okay? Like maybe you need to just transform your look into somebody who is more you and not a trend or something that's out here and people are like, oh, well, everybody looks like this. And most people who get that they get chose or who are more attractive, they all look like this. You don't have to follow no trends. One thing about a tour is especially the women, okay, y'all are so gorgeous and so beautiful naturally, okay? Naturally, hands down, you don't need any enhancements. So with this, it's one of those things like you have to get out of your own way of thinking like, okay, I'm not, bad, I'm not good enough to be in a relationship because I need to be like this. Accept who you are. Love on yourself. Um, something is coming in with love, 
or if you are in a relationship, you definitely need to give your love a chance. You need to go ahead and start working on that. Also, the whole mask situation of, of uh, unveiling that mask, reveal exactly who you really are. Or maybe you guys can do really good on going on a romantic trip of some sort that's going to bring you guys closer together. Maybe a little road trip will help. If you're already in a relationship, that's for you. So, moving on to you, Gemini's. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. First of all, y'all need to release y'all ex. But that's a Gemini thing, child. Okay. Release your ex. It could also mean that you are um you could be still dealing with them in some type of capacity. Doesn't mean that you're necessarily romantically involved with them, but you keep tabs on them, maybe like watching them on the internet. Or, um, you know, checking on them, texting them every now and again just to see how they're doing or trying to poke your head in and see if they're miserable or happy or not. Uh, Spirit wants you to know it's time for you to go ahead and release your ex. And that's, that's just what I hear in my ear. You probably need to have a heart-to-heart -heart with your... Um, potential spouse that you are with or maybe your ex you probably need to just discuss your honest and, and true feelings um was your ex somebody that you put, could have thought was a soulmate you know i see a lot of single as a pringle vibes here i don't feel like um you guys are necessarily trying to settle down with one person I feel like there's many opportunities out here for you and um, being out of a relationship at this moment might be best for you. And that's just for this moment, this energy, this time, if you guys are watching this, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting the energy of somebody that just needs to um, stay true to themselves and kind of like do some self-reflection, be in solidarity um ingrain some um protection as far as that releasing of the ex um i feel like maybe i need to have a one-off conversation or one it may be some closure needs to be had so that one or both of y'all can definitely move on but i feel like gemini um in this particular love reading i feel like you guys could very much do well with um maybe Spending more time with yourself, loving on yourself, enjoying yourself, enjoying your time alone, um, working on yourself, releasing your exes, you know what I mean? Because So if you are trying to be with someone, um, your bond with them will be very strong. And if you are in a relationship, the takeaway from this is um, I see that y'all relationship will definitely strengthen and maybe you guys can benefit from taking a little minor trips together you know i feel like your relationship your bond is strengthening over time it's like one of those gradual things like the closer you get to them the more you get to know and the more in love you fall with them and um i feel like that's a really good read for as far as love so whether you are single uh spirit says maybe not right now but soon but after you go ahead and clean up your situation things will get better for you or um if you are in a relationship your bond is strengthening right now moving on to you cancer like y'all are in a relationship that is filled with a lot of passion and it gives you a lot of nostalgic vibes it makes you feel have all the feels i feel like um it ignites your passion in some type of way i feel like cancers you guys are manifesting or have manifested somebody that you can truly call your soulmate um Something that you guys, you cancer people have probably um, 
visualize this person coming into your life, manifested them in some type of way. And, and maybe um, your love could be going to a, a higher level of commitment, however that resonates with you guys. Um, I feel like also um, you are very highly attracted to this person. Um, I feel like you also need to work on trust. Um, this situation that you're in romantically, I feel like whoever is in Cancer's um, love reading right now, you guys are in a committed relationship and spirit wants you to work on trust. Um, trust is something that might be, you know, um, hard to give because of difficulty dealing with women. And it's, it's very odd because... I feel like I'm reading myself. I'm a cancer, so I just I'm like, damn, that's kind of that's kind of hitting kind of home right there. Um, have faith that love is coming if you guys are not in a relationship, okay? If you guys are in a relationship, you need to work on your trust, okay? Your trust is very hard because you probably have dealt with difficult women in your past, male or female. You probably have seen women do certain stuff. Your mind is like high in. When it comes to women, so it's not like you don't really trust your spouse. It's probably you just don't trust them around certain people. Or maybe you just don't, maybe it's like their friends or it's like women. Women in general, because you've probably been hurt. So you probably need to like go in and kind of call that out. Um, do some shadow work, kind of figure that out so that you can move past that. Because you don't want trust to be one of those things that, that keeps you away from your highest good. But I also want to say that this um, relationship is causing for you to have some faith. And however, it, it resonates. If you are single, um, maybe you should try to find someone um, at a coffee shop. That's for somebody. Sharing coffee, a coffee drink, after having um, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, whatever it is, whatever your thing is. I feel like um, some kind of romantic date, it might be a coffee date, it might be something very, very um, romantic and intimate, you know what I mean, where it's just the two of y'all. I feel like whatever relationship cancer you are in is highly passionate, and um, I'm very happy to have delivered that message to you. Okay, moving on to Leo. I feel like Leo you might be finding a spouse that might be someone that you work with it can even be your boss And I feel like also you might be romantically involved with someone that could be stringing you along or this is like a booty call, one night stand situation. And it could be making you feel like you are um, not enough. Making you feel like you need to go within and be alone for a while. That's for some, it's not for all Leos. There might be a separation coming from that part of the love reading but i also feel like for some somebody who is dealing with somebody um at work it's like two different people you could be involved with someone that um makes you feel like an option or they have plenty of options and it makes you kind of go within and feel like you're not enough then for some i also feel like you could be in a relationship especially if you are in a relationship or or, or aspiring to be um, it's definitely one of these kind of situations where this is the one, but you feel kind of like, you know, like this person is out your league, so, so to speak. Like maybe they make a lot of money and you don't, and it kind of puts you in a situation where you just feel inadequate, like you're not enough. But Spirit wants you to know, like, it's okay to like go ahead and love again. Um, and you know allow them to come in and make romantic gestures like it's okay like you got this 
you should be appreciated. You're freaking Leo. Everybody loves a Leo, okay? Um, and Spirit wants you to know it's okay to love again. Open your heart and give and um, give and receive the highest energy of all, which is love. Um, for some that might be in a relationship that's not actually working out, it's okay. Dump that zero and get you a hero. It's all plenty of fish in the sea. And if you know anything about how love works and energy works and manifestation works, um, there are more options available to you once you open your eyes and see. Um, don't just feel like you are only meant to date one type of person, whoever that re resonates with. All right, moving on to you, Virgos. I can't even get another card out because I already see what's going on here. Spirit wants me to go ahead and read for this. I feel like you guys are overthinkers, you know, and somebody could be um, flirting with you right in your very face and you might not even see it as flirting. You probably are like overthinking, like maybe they just like, like being around me because I help them to do whatever job or I help them, you know, maybe if they ask me for directions, I'm always there to help them with some type of advice. Because they always, I'm here to help them intellectually. I feel like um, for my Virgos who picked this love reading, I see that, um, you know, this is somebody who needs to change their perspective on what flirting really means. Um, and you also need to learn how to experience more um, of this joy and this love and this adoration. Like, get around people who also like you. You know, if you are brainiac or a type of person who's very intellectual, very, very smart and gifted, you need to be around other people who appreciate that, who are also very smart, gifted, talented, or people who actually need that in their life. Like, they they might not be as book smart or, or, or um, as well learned as you. Get around people who can appreciate that. Like, oh, tell me more about all what you've learned. Or if you are somebody who is, like, really into, um, like, for instance, my relationship. My guy is a good, he's an IT person, okay? Very good at all things software and cracking codes and all that kind of stuff. I can't even name it all because I'm not into that. But when I need stuff done in that area, like all my YouTube stuff, he helps me with everything. And I appreciate him for that. I love how smart and intellectual he is. He is such a big, huge light and a huge help. But you have to be around people who can appreciate that because otherwise you'll look at it and be like, well, everybody can do this. And not everybody can. So if you are in a relationship, um... I just want you to know, like, your spouse will appreciate you more for your talents if you just show up in areas where they are weak. You see what I'm saying? And it, it will totally work out for you in that aspect. And that's what I have for you, Virgos. Of course, y'all are thinkers, okay? Very intellectually smart. Moving on to you, Libra. Now, one thing about a Libra, before I even get into this, y'all already... Love to be in a relationship, okay? Love relationships, hate being alone. Let's figure out what is coming for you through this September in love. Ooh, did this mean to come out? Let me try that again. It went off the back of my hand. All right, I feel like there's an awful lot of communication going on, you know, between you and somebody, a significant other. It could also be um, a lot of emotional stability. Um, maybe this person that you are with or wanting to be with offers you a lot of emotional support um, via verbally. Like they are just always giving you encouraging words and telling you the new things, new ideas to make money. And if you are in a relationship, I feel like this is a really, really, really good relationship. Um, you guys have truly found love. Um, this is a romance of a lifetime. This is something that people 
would love to find in their life and hope to find Libra, you have found that. And I feel like um, this person is constantly always thinking of you. Um, if you are not in a relationship, you're going to find you a love of a lifetime for sure. Um, this person probably flirts a lot with you through text messages. or Maybe they watch you a lot on Instagram or whatever social media platform fits your taste. But I feel like this person is definitely here to help um, teach you forgiveness in some type of way. Um, they're here to tell you some things um, about yourself and help you realize some things so you can transform um, your mind and your your life in some type of way. Like this person came in to transform you. Um, you probably were somebody that was very insecure or came from a relationship that made you feel that way. And this person helps heal that. They are they are there to help heal you in some type of way and you ought to be appreciative of this person and treat them with much kindness love and respect because this could be very well uh, how they say you entertain an e angel you are entertaining an angel libras all right moving on to my scorpios cards come on now scorpio yeah i know y'all got a lot of options one thing about a scorpio is baby they keep them some options a backup plan i feel like right now your attraction level scorpio is very very high and that you might be attracting what they today's people are calling um high value people how about you men uh, Spirit is also saying if you are in a coupleship that you might be ending that soon and moving on to something a little bit greater. But just because you are, you probably are in a um, position where you not, you just, it's like, what you got? What you bringing to the table? What's next? So Spirit also wants me to urge you because I keep hearing that you guys need to learn some type of self-respect um, and when you learn that or when you start loving yourself first um your attraction level goes up even more i feel like scorpio for sure um your attraction level is very very high right now so you be careful about who you are attracted next in your life okay because when i say you can get any person that you want that's a good thing and it can also be a bad thing because you need to make sure you properly vet this person out and know exactly okay like how they move is this do disagree with what i'm about um i feel like you need to whoever you do attract next you need to take your time to get to know um and your person if you guys are in a relationship i feel like you guys could be getting married very soon i feel like a strong sense of um a soul connection, an everlasting promise. And um, back to your attraction. I feel like your attraction level is on high right now. So really, y'all don't need to hear me keep going on about how great and sexy and fine you are, okay? Because y'all are all those things and more. All you got to do is tap into your energy and um, let it ride, okay? Moving on to my Sagittarius. When I say it take a, spe a special type of person to be with a Sag. Because they don't just, you know what I'm saying? They 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 value their time. Now they value their time. Okay, so if you've got the chance to be with one of them, you better be thanking your lucky stars. Because when I say they do not get down like that, they do not. Okay, their time is very valuable. All right, I see utter and complete wish fulfillment as it pertains to love you guys and i feel like you know you're going to be on your journey and doing your thing and um you know just doing your everyday routine and you can definitely um or you need to get into a routine because on your journey of just doing you you're going to be able to attract exactly what it is you're looking for but it's going to take some time baby and y'all might end up starting off as friends first so just be aware of that Be aware of that. All 
Okay, and I also feel like you guys, um, because things are taking its time to get to you, I feel like you guys need to release old, outdated thinking and conditioning. And even if, you know how some of those people be like, well, things never worked out for me because this has always happened to me. Let me tell you my story. And they go into their story, and that's the story that they tell themselves. And little do they know, they are manifesting that event or that happening or that thing that happened in their past to happen each and every time. So Spirit is telling me to tell you that you guys need to get back into being optimistic. Like what happened to that? You're sad. That's what you're all about. Anything can happen to you at any given moment in time, okay? Prepare yourself. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. So, Because whatever is on its way to you is coming in. And y'all might even be having something in common as it relates to religion. Or you might end up giving up a certain type of way of religion and whatever new um, world thing you're into might end up bringing y'all together or you could be more like very bible bumper or whatever it is i feel like your your religion is going to connect y'all or maybe you should have an open mind when it comes to their religion something dealing with religion sagittarius as it always is y'all sign real rules philosophy so there you have it now we're moving on to our capricorns caps where you at I mean, first of all, Capricorns, y'all are always... So whatever is going on with you in your love life, I feel like um, right now, y'all got your mind on your money and your money on your mind. So it's like, unless we're talking about dollar signs, we ain't talking about much. Um, that's the Capricorn energy for your ass. And if you ever think about being with one, you better believe that's what they're about. Um, and hopefully being with them, you'll understand that. And it'll help you to... Um, to understand them better and help them like maybe they need help in areas of that kind of way like i need somebody that's gonna be more business minded just like me or think come in with maybe we can work together maybe we can flourish together um i feel like there is new love coming very much so so if you guys are not in a relationship you're in a bestie because new love is coming in and it's going to make you feel like a child all over again it's going to make you feel giggly school girlish you know, I feel like also in the same breath that you guys need to learn how to let go of control issues. So Capricorn, if you're going through an issue with being in your relationship, whether you're single or in a coupleship, um, I feel like you being you feeling the need to control so much is what's very much keeping you from um, the happiness that you deserve. So you need to kind of fall back, take a step back and evaluate the way you move in relationship sectors as it pertains to you being controlling. All right, moving on to Aquarius. What information Aquarius do you have? Aquarius, I feel like if you guys are watching this, then some kind of way children play a role. Probably maybe a new baby has been here keeping you up all night. But I feel like if you guys are in a relationship, um, I feel like um, children definitely play a role in this relationship in some type of way. Or maybe um, somebody might have been very much lying to you and the lies are starting to keep you up at night. So if you guys are in a relationship and that resonates, then you guys need to have a heart to heart. You probably need to just do a little romantic getaway and um, and have a kind of conversation or talk it out. Or if you seeing somebody new, 
then they are definitely um they are definitely giving you red flag vibes okay they probably do a lot of stuff that you keep keeps you up at night and you be like I, did they mean to say it like that to me or are they being deceptive in this kind of way um spirit wants you to know absolutely yes so you just need to kind of learn how to pay attention to the red flags and um you know pay attention read in between the lines of, of exactly what they're saying when they're talking to you um right now i feel like you guys need to pay attention to your intuition as it pertains to being with this person and um if you are in a situation it's definitely time to go ahead and end it and that's all i have for you aquarius we're moving on pisces where y'all at Pisces could be moving a little too fast um, in a relationship or trying to get to one because you feel like this person checks off all your boxes but I feel like also in the same breath that you guys might have a whole lot of options um, so you know with that being said you need to kind of narrow it down because you seem to be um, having your pick at the litter right now and um, if you are trying to find true love, then you kind of need to start using your head, the one on your head, shoulders, neck, this one. And I feel like um, you guys also could um, be talking to people, a lot of different type of people, some of which you already know, um, they have a lot of red flags. Um, some probably are already in relationships. So don't get yourself involved in that and be a third party situation. I feel like um, just going through this phase in your life of like having your pick of the litter is giving you a lot of transformative obstacles. Like maybe um, everything that you're going through right now as it pertains to dating is really preparing you for some true love that's coming in the very near future. Um, and I feel like... Um, Whatever you are involved in right now is a karmic relationship. So possibly um, just go ahead and start trying to weed out some of that extra fluff that you don't need. Because spirit is wanting you to know, like, you know, everything you're going through is for a reason. Eventually you're going to find a romance of a lifetime. But right now you need to get rid of all these freaking options, okay? And figure out exactly what it is that you want. Because once you do that, you'll get exactly what it is you're looking for. And that's what I have for you guys for this love reading. I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure that you hit the like button and subscribe on your way out if you haven't already. And comment and let me know how this resonates with you. Until next time. Mwah.